All right, guys, so I'm here at Diana's house, which is a friend of mine. I actually met her at a permaculture design course about four years ago, but uh, the guys are up there on the roof actually doing the installation, but I wanted to show you a couple of cool things that I saw uh, in the process of walking back here. So the first thing is that she has the rain water coming off the roof through these tubes and into some planters. Super cool, very permaculture. It's gonna go in line with the solar very well. All right, we'll go up here in a minute. Just wanted to check out the rainwater barrels. So this is Deanna's garden back here. And she actually has a chicken coop right here. Let's see if we can... Oh, there's some feathers right there. I don't think there's a very good view. Oh. We'll have to get them out later. And so this is Deanna's garden, and the coolest thing about this garden is that literally every single plant is either edible or an herb, or it is a nitrogen fixer that, for example, brings nitrogen from the air into the soil so the other plants can feed on it. This allows it to become a real ecosystem, like a forest, and therefore you don't really need to maintain it as much. You're not constantly adding fertilizers. Uh, it's more self-maintaining. Highly mulched, as you can see, to absorb all the water. Even has a, uh, she even has a little uh, dry creek here to collect water. And of course the chickens. And so all of this together with the solar panels is greatly, greatly reducing her carbon footprint. All right guys, so I'm up on Deanna's roof now and she has a flat roof. So we're actually using the Chem Link standoffs, highest quality in the industry. And uh, we put her system at about a 12% or sorry, 12 degree tilt, which is the ideal tilt for optimal solar production.